Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put horizontal lines in your Microsoft Word documents. Today's question comes from Jennifer in Green Bay, Wisconsin, a silver member. Jennifer asks, is there an easy way to make horizontal lines in my documents? I know about the hyphen dashed line trick, but that goes all the way across the page. How about making a signature line? Well, Jennifer, there are a couple of different ways you can create horizontal lines and vertical lines in Microsoft Word. Let me show you a few different tricks. Okay, here's a simple Word document with some random text brought to you by jeffsum.com. My buddy Alex sent that to me the other day as a link, and I thought it was hilarious. But anyways, down toward the bottom, let's say I want to put a horizontal line here. Now, the dash trick that Jennifer is talking about means just hit a bunch of hyphens, at least three or more, like that. And then when you press Enter, you get a horizontal line. It goes all the way across the page. Okay, that looks good, but that might not be what you're looking for. So I'm going to undo that. I'll hit my undo button there, and that brings me back with my dashed line. Now that little feature is called auto format, and you can use it to create a bunch of different line styles, from hyphens and underscores to the equal sign, asterisk, hashtags, and tildes. All of those, if you make a line of at least three of them in a row and press enter, will create the corresponding line you see there. So if I don't want this guy, let me delete that. I could go with a bunch of hashtags and then press enter and get that fancy line. Okay, but I don't want that either, so I'm going to undo that. Control-Z, undo. All right, then I'll get rid of that. If you want to make a simple horizontal line, like let's say for someone to sign something, you could say, please sign here, right, like that. Now, here's my trick. This is what I like to do. I like to use the underscore character. That's the shift hyphen key. So hold down the shift key, press hyphen, make a line out as long as you want it, maybe about there. Okay, now when I press enter, that auto format's going to kick in and make that complete line across the page like that. Hit undo now, control Z, and it puts it back like that. Now I can type the person's name under here if you want to, right, Richard Rost, and I've got a signature line. If you want it closer than that, instead of using an enter, right, back up and use shift enter, that'll give you a line break instead of a paragraph break much tighter like that. If you want to put an X in front of it, you can just click over here, put an X like that, All right? Make it bigger. I'm using the control right bracket on my keyboard, All right? To increase the font size. And there you go. If you want to make name blanks, let's get rid of this stuff. Let's say you want to do something like this. First name colon and then press tab. Just use the underscore character like that. That's one of the easiest ways to do it. There's lots of other ways. There are better ways. But this is a nice, simple, easy way. And it's just fine. Right? Last name, colon, and then underscores. Try to get them to match up. Copy and paste if you want to. There's nothing wrong with this method. All right, let's get rid of this stuff here. Delete. You can also insert horizontal lines by using this guy. On the paragraph group, it says borders. Click on that button. And that puts basically a bottom border under this paragraph. You can also use the same button to put a top border and a left border and a right border. And now you can type stuff in here. And you basically have a border around that entire paragraph. If you want just horizontal lines around it, well, you can do turn the left border and the right border off. And you get that. All right, those are paragraph borders right there. There's also an option. Let me get rid of this stuff. There's also an option in here to insert a horizontal line right there. That's a different kind of horizontal line. That's not a paragraph border. Once you insert that, you can double click on it, and you can see some different options in here. You can left, center, right it. You can change the color, the shade. Okay. Want blue, for example. There you go. All right, let's get rid of that guy. Click on it, hit delete on the keyboard. One more way you can insert a line, and that's to use a shape. Go to insert, and then under shapes, and you'll see lines right here. There's a regular line, there's a line with an arrow, there's all kinds of lines down here, squiggly lines, you name it. I'll just do a regular line. Click and drag wherever you want it to be. 
like right there. And now you can click on it and get all kinds of different options up here. And I cover these in my full classes. But those are the basic ways you can create horizontal and even vertical lines in your Word documents. Stick around for the extended cut for members only. I will show you how to create fancy lines like a red dashed line with shadowing. And I'll show you how to insert automatic lines between columns if you know how to use columns. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and lots of other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available and the perks associated with each one. But don't worry, these tech help videos will keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and share. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and choose all to get notified whenever I post any new videos. Make sure you click the show more button down below the video, below the description. You'll see lots of additional links and resources down there. If you have not yet tried my free Word Level 1 course, visit my website now, there's the link, and sign up. It's a free hour-long course on all the basics of Microsoft Word, and it's absolutely free. And if you like Level 1, you can sign up for Level 2 for just $1. That's another complete hour-long video for just a dollar. If you would like to see your question answered in a video just like this one, visit my Tech Help page, and you can post your question there. Look for me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross with WordLearningZone.com. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time.